Leo, hi. Um, this is going to be a reading for mid-September 2019, and uh, I'll be starting you off with an oracle card, and then I'll do the uh, reading for you, and then I'll uh, end things up with two more oracle cards. Uh, these are general readings. They may not uh, resonate with each and every one of you. Uh, if they do, there's an extended um, at the end of the video, you can check it out in the description box. And let's get you started with the Sacred Traveler for mid-September. Let's see what's happening for you. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Uh, miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge. I'm going to take this card and I'm going to sleep with it. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. All right. Uh, let's uh, give some of that energy into the reading. Let's see what's happening in the reading for you. Well, after the dream I had last night, yeah, I'm going to take this. This, uh, this card and sleep with it. I dreamed, not going to get into specifics, but it involved uh, Justin Bieber. I know. I was like, why? When I woke up, I was like, man, why? Where are my pink, my Leonardo DiCaprio, my, <laughs> my people? Why does it have to be Justin Bieber? Oh, man. All right. So yeah, I need that card from now. Well, I wanted to bring my dreams back. So that's what happens. Mm -hmm. You ask for it, you get it. Okay, Leo, let's focus on the miracle part here. Okay, take a deep breath. Um, the overall energy for this reading is the Five of Cups. There is some, oh my god, hold on. There is some sadness here in regards to something from the past. All right, you're, you're, and I see it in the reading too. There's still some hanging on to the past here. You know, uh, I don't feel it as necessarily a negative, negative kind of, it, it's kind of like a nostalgic kind of thing. I don't see it right now as being too negative, you know. Could be for some of you, but I don't feel it that way. It's just that hanging on, from, you know, to some things from the past that may not be necessarily the best. Um, you have here the Three of Wands starting off your reading and uh, crossed by the Four of Wands. I feel like you're waiting for this commitment here. Uh, for You have somebody in mind and you're waiting for this commitment because this comes out in your focus. So the two of you coming back together, you're... Um, you're still waiting on this to happen. In your uh, recent past here, you get the Two of Swords, which tells me, again, you were pretty much confused. You didn't know what to do. You were uh, at a loss here with this connection. And this is tied up to the Five of Cups here, um, which is telling me, you know, it's, it's talking about sadness. It's talking about uh, confusion. So... You've got the Three of Pentacles up there in your strength, which is, again, talking about a partnership. And what's coming towards you in the immediate future is uh, the Emperor here, which is somebody that's very determined, knows exactly what they want, and I feel like they have their eye on you, Leo. Um, what's surrounding you for mid-September here is the Five of Swords. You could, you could be going through a little bit of self-deception here. 
when it comes to possibly how you feel about this person, possibly possibly even something in regards to you, where you're at in life, in general. Uh, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, there's something that you feel you cannot escape from. All right? Hmm. Um, <laughs> you're, you're, you just want happiness. <clears throat> This is in your hopes and fears here, telling me that that's all you want. You just want to be yourself, because that's a Leo card there. But you just want the sun to shine, um, non-stop there. You know, you, you, that's your goal in life to bring out the sun, pretty much. So, um, for your potential outcome here, some sort of cycle is ending. Now let's clarify things. Let's see this uh, Three of Wands. Actually, let me go back to the Five of Cups here. Let me do that first. Let's see why, why you're still looking at the past there. This involves a connection with somebody that um, was very logical, you know, was very matter of fact kind of character here, was using uh, a whole lot of their head, uh, not too much their heart, but this is somebody that's a soulmate to you. This is a very strong soul connection, um, again, with the Hierophant com confirming that this was if not a marriage, something very, very stable and something highly spiritual here um, with the lovers and the Hierophant. The King of Swords tells me that this person was, uh, you know, looking at things in a very logical manner, um, which I know for a Leo is hard to understand. Leos go, you know, Leos work uh, from their heart space usually, so. Um, let me see this Three of Wands. <clears throat> hmm. You are, um, so you're not completely forgetting about this person. You do want to put that energy of waiting for them. You do want to put that behind you. Uh, and I see you being, you know, uh, willing to learn new things. And you've got a lot of things to, to learn from. And it is looking like a lot of oppor opportunities are opening up for you. And um, you're willing to learn from whatever comes your way. You know, and for that to happen, I feel like you need to release this energy of uh, waiting and only that, just waiting for this person, because maybe a lot of you uh, forgot to focus on this, you know, to so focus on what's out there for you to look at, to um, be aware of, because there are things surrounding you that you need to learn from. And some of you got stuck in the waiting game, and I feel like you're letting that energy of waiting for this person go. Let's uh, clarify the Four of Wands. So either you have uh, the possibility here for a new connection and uh, you're face to face with that. You're like, should I, this person doesn't even ask, they just jump for it. But um, that either is presented for some of you in front of you and you don't like that and uh, you're not really jumping for it 
or you feel sad and discontent about the fact that you did jump into the connection that you had with this person in the past. You did it very impulsively, very rash. You didn't really think about it. And now you're like, what the hell did I just do? And you're not letting this energy go. You know, it's kind of like you're thinking about that constantly. Like, what if I uh, would have thought things through instead of just throwing myself in there? You know, it's looking like you're a little bit stuck into that um, way of thinking, like feeling sorry that you were impulsive. You know, let's do this uh, two of cups in your focus. You two are waiting. You two are waiting on each other here. All right? The emperor came back out. And I feel like there's justice brought to the situation somehow. <laughs> I don't see it how because you two are the both of you are waiting on each other. No nope, none of you are acting. So how is justice brought in? Um let's see. Let's see what's happening. Currently, I feel like the two of you are waiting uh for the other one to make a move. So Let's do the Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> See, somebody will make a move. I just don't know who. Which one of you. Uh, whoever it is, they're going to go by intuition here. They're going to go fully, intuitively forward with an offer of love. And it's going to bring victory in this connection, in this partnership here. All right. Um, I'm not getting which. I I I tend to feel more that it's you, <clears throat> but I may be wrong. <clears throat> Let's see this emperor. What the hell? <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't know what that is, but apparently I can't talk anymore. Somebody doesn't want me to talk anymore. Okay, I'll shut up after the reading. After. <clears throat> Let's do this emperor. Yeah. It's them. Uh, they feel like they can't escape you here. They want the two of you to come back together and they will communicate. They cannot escape the thought of you two being together. And they want to communicate. You, there's a lot, a lot of mirroring going on here between the two of you. Let me see this Five of Swords. <clears throat> mm, okay. So uh, be careful a little bit because I feel like you're attaching this uh, fulfillment, this uh, happiness. You're attaching that onto this person coming to you. So you may be, you know, you know how to do this. You know how to achieve this on your own. You know, you don't need to... This talks a little bit about codependency where you feel like your happiness depends on that person and it's not the case and I feel like you know that already. So there's a little bit of self-deception here on, you know, you getting to this place, you're kind of waiting for this person to, you're watching uh, for them to show up, to come your way, to give you this. And I feel like you can do that all on your own, but there's a little bit of a part of you that kind of hopes that this person is going to help them reach this um, happiness, this emotional stability here, you know. Uh, let's do the Eight of Swords in the energies that you may not be aware of. As I said, your, your person is in the Eight of Swords when it comes to you two coming together. Your person is there, so, so are you. And, a lot, a lot of mirroring. This is you coming up here wanting this love to happen, wanting to um, 
wanting to make the offer again like your person your your what I'm seeing for them then comes up for you, you know. You two want this. You're you're just not talking about it. I feel like that's the problem, but the both of you want this. Let me see the sun. Oh Leo, okay. What the hell is going on today? Sad you got a good one, you got a beautiful one. Uh, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, power couple here. Of course, uh, these two are gonna have this supporting them, right? This is happiness. This is. Uh, there's a brand new beginning out there for the two of you. You know, things. W you two love each other. And <laughs> you're not telling each other that. That's the problem there. <clears throat> Same thing keeps coming up. There's a lot of love here, a lot of... There's still some residual parts here and there within you, at least, in regards to this person, to the past, to the past pain. But... It's pretty much overcome. Let's uh let's do the world and the uh, potential outcome. There's a fear here. It might be you. It might be them. There's a fear of abandonment. Okay, but uh, I feel like this is going away, leaving room for happiness, equal give and take partnership here. The the best kind of partnership possible but there's as I said before there's a little bit of residual um, holding on to things from the past uh, possibly blaming the other person that they left you that whatever uh, I don't feel it as overcoming the good energy in this reading the happiness the love the everything that's going on all of these things that are still within you are very very small very uh, you can address them, and I feel like they'll go away in a couple of days, couple of, you know, weeks. But the energy overall it's is just shouting at me. These two people love each other, and the only reason that they're not together is because they're not telling each other that. So, but I do see your person coming in. Uh, let me pull up a final tip from the universe card for you. No tip for you, apparently. You know what you're doing. Okay, you're being there, taking care of yourself. Um, you know exactly what you're doing. And you know the universe has this. It's not you're waiting for it patiently, which is hard for a Leo, but uh, you know exactly what you're doing here. All right? You're very independent. You're very strong. You're very stable where you're at. And... You're just, you're just waiting for things to happen because you trust that things will happen when they happen. You know, you believe in the timing of it all. So, uh, let me go to the Oracle cards now. The Soul's Journey for you. So, miracles can happen. I'm definitely sleeping with that Oracle card. From now on. Why not? Acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. You are. Alright, so um, let me do the Spirit of the Animals Oracle. Let's see what these guys have to say. Do not laugh. By the way, I'm shuffling these. These are huge. I can't deal with them only like this so you get the hawk messenger spirit is sending you messages open your greater vision to see the signs focus on priorities and eliminate 
Eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. I'm digging mid-September for Leos. Not for Leos, for fire signs are... Fire signs are up and running in mid-September, apparently. I still got Aries to do, but uh, for now, fire signs got it. All right, so uh, if this resonated, um, I do have the extended version to see where your partner's at in mid-September towards you. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.